Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru. Today with a new formula of Excel called F. Yes, F I F F. All right. This formula is a uh, is something that can be used to create functions of your own to some extent in Excel. Like today, I'm trying to create a function or a formula wherein if the item names are entered, these item names are entered, then the rate should automatically show up over here and the quality quantity we would enter ourselves and the value would be the total uh, of the product of quantity and rate all right so I'm gonna do that for you I'm gonna teach that to you today so let's see how to do that all right so that was some trickery magic I get <laughs> all right now the formula would start uh, see beef is $500 Chicken is $125, pizza is $300, uh, burger is $50, hot dog is $70. Uh, why I'm saying dollars is because I'm making this video for a friend of mine in US. Uh, he came, to, he uh, he has met to met me through Facebook. His name is Charlie Jenkins. Charlie asked a question, which was something similar to this. So Charlie, this is for you. Okay. Uh, now say if I want to enter beef over here. If when we enter B for here, what we want is that this rate should automatically show up. So how we are going to do that is we are going to start this formula with is equal to I F F parenthesis open if this cell this cell is D sixteen is equal to C eight C eight then the rate should show up as as printed here and close the bracket. Now, D16, if D16 is equal to C8, is clear over here. D16 is this cell, item name. And if this is equal to something mentioned over here, which may be beef, and then the rate printed opposite to it should show up. So this is, is simple, D16 is equal to C8. Then why did I put a plus sign? Plus D8, plus means that when we enter a plus sign in a formula after a comma, then it will simply paste the value over there as it is all right so this will allow us to make the rates variable so whenever we change this rate from here the rate over here would also automatically change so let us see see it has come up now if I type chicken what would happen nothing it says false if I type beef again it says, oh sorry, we type beat. It gives me 500. Now if I want to copy this formula, what would happen? Oh, it's saying all false. So let me type beef over here, say. Something's working. Something's wrong. Anna? I'll tell you what's wrong. So before we do that, let's come to a, com let's complete a formula. Now quantity, say we, Jenkins, Charlie sold three beef loaves, each costing $500. Charlie, good rich. <laughs> and quantity is 3 then the value should be is equal to rate multiplied by the quantity sold which is $1500 Charlie that is good money so when I when the next time I come to US you owe me a beef beef burger <laughs> and now so what happened over here why didn't the formula copy that is something I'll tell and then how to add these other con conditions also now it can be chicken also or pizza which I love burger hot dog so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell you why I did not copy so when I copied it over here C what did it say D 17 C 9 D 9 over here it is D 16 C 8 D 8 what happened when I copied the formula the Excel itself copied the references also but one cell below so we need to fix the reference cells D 16 is variable this is the D range D column you can enter any item over here but the reference cells would not change so we have to keep them fixed so we'll press the F4 button see we'll press the F4 button for the values which are mentioned over here so this would allow Excel to refer to these values only whenever a name is entered here I'll press enter now if I copy this formula see okay so this was how it is done 
now I am going to get other category so I remove the last parenthesis entered another comma if again bracket open D16 the same cell now if, if somebody enters chicken over here then it should give me this rate alright then again comma if bracket open if in this cell again somebody enters pizza sorry in this cell somebody enters if this is equal to pizza then what should be the answer then the rate equivalent to pizza should come up then again if bracket open so complicated you would have to watch this video once or twice to use it completely I'm so sorry sometimes these these do 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 get a bit bit confusing comma then the rate should be this see by entering a plus cell plus a sign in front of the rates or uh, the cell allows me to make changes whenever these rates are very varying whenever these rates would vary the answer the rate over here would also vary so my last thing now if this is equal to hot dogs okay if this is equal to hot dogs then this should be the rate now I close my brackets one two three four five now I copy it no I would not copy it because I have yet to fix the complete thing over here see the only thing that I'm not fixing is the D column reason being the sorry D16 range where the item names are to be mentioned because only those can be changed the others cannot be changed this is akin to that dialogue in the Lord of the Rings movie you shall not move <laughs> this was a good dialogue I liked okay I just want two more four okay enter now I'm gonna copy it okay now it will give me no issues now if I enter chicken over here c-h-i-c-k-e-n the rate is showing as 125 if I enter hot dog the rate shows as 70 if I enter burger the rate is 50 if I enter a pizza it's 300 if I alter the rate of pizza from 300 to say 1200 it will automatically change the quantity would be as per your choice Charlie go on make as many sales as possible this formula can be copied down so this excel video this excel file that you are seeing in this video is available for download for you to practice and follow along on my website www.excelmadeeasy.feebly.com uh, this is my website I'm so sorry and you can just go to the head page go to the training files and download the file from there and the video you're looking at is available on my YouTube channel you can subscribe by signing in or signing up so that whenever there is a new video you will be aware about it uh, YouTube would inform you and yes if you do like my work then you can follow me on Twitter like me on Facebook if you click over here on my you on my f on my home page it will take you to my Facebook sub page do like us if you believe that what I'm doing is right and you can also subscribe to my YouTube videos from here itself. So this is your Excel Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.